Egypt, Egyptian employees face 1% coronavirus pay cut. This is on Kerosi Brog. Uh, so, um, Egyptian government has announced a raft of financial measures to help pay for the economic damage caused by the coronavirus pandemic to the country. Under the new draft law, the elderly will face a half percent cut in their pensions, while the working citizens would face a one percent pay cut. The measures will be enforced from July and will go on for a year. All those earning below one point five dollars will be exempted. Tourism is the most the worst affected sector of the economy in Egypt. Those who work in the sector may also be exempted. Elsewhere we have uh, we have more on uh, sports. We have more on sports. We have this former Inter Milan head coach, Iggy Simon, dies at 81. Uh, he said, he said that the former Inter in the Milan head coach, Gigi Simon, who led a Ronaldo-inspired team to win UEFA Cup in 1998, has died at the age of 81. His death uh, was announced by Inter on Friday, the day the club marked, hand, uh, that, that's the, the, day the club marked 10 years uh, since their Series A Champions League and Copa Italia Prebo. Uh, Inter Milan uh, updated their this news on their Twitter handle saying Gigi Simon oh this is in Spanish I guess anyway so Simon set a record by leading seven Serie, series P teams to promotion to the Italian top flight he suffered a stroke in June 2019 from which he never fully recovered he was taken to hospital when his, th his health began to deteriorate shortly before his death in that statement on Friday read, today, 22nd May, he left us, not just end date, the most interrelated date of all. We remember Gigi Simon and we we'll miss everything about him. First and foremost, his gentlemanly way of being, his way of living, both in life and in football, was never over the top. His football reflected that. It was humble. Uh, functional and capable of making the most of what he had and on over. End of quote. The world of football has lost a great coach and a wonderful person. This is how they, we remember him, with his white hair in the dugout while he enjoyed the match of Ronaldo with a smile on his face and enveloped by the fans' affection. Farewell, Iggy. We will miss you. Razio and Naborio were among the clubs that offered conferences to Simon's family. The other teams that Simon managed are Cremonese, Napoli, Piacenza, Torino, CSKA, Sofia, Anicona, Siena, and Gubbio. Uh, there's more. Uh, more news. More news over here. Uh, we will talk about uh, teachers in Zimbabwe. We we'll talk about this. Uh, it's important for us to. Uh, you, if you have fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention. Uh, most recently, we have been producing uh, uh, cartoons or illustrations to raise awareness among. Uh, communities in Kenya and this is one of them so the writings in this uh, section reads that if you have difficult if you have fever cough and difficult breathing seek medical attention so we resorted to this uh, strategy when we discovered that uh, most of the government responses and communications are done in English or Swahili and therefore, there is need for those who do not understand English or Swahili to be able uh, to read uh, in their own language, in their first language. 
So we started producing uh, cartoons or illustrations and also uh, music in the local language. Uh, and, and this was done by Bill and we really like it. And we hope that it will be able to communicate the COVID-19 messages to the people on the ground in their own languages. So they don't have to struggle or they do not have to uh, misinterpret the messages. Uh, we will be doing more of this more often uh, as time goes by. This is just one of the illustrations uh, that we have produced. It is in Sanguel language for now, uh, but we are we have also produced some music in uh, Hendrix language. These are some of the minority groups or minority communities that we have in Kenya. So we will keep producing this kind of content uh, for the local communities to be able to uh, interpret the messages and to be able to take action. So you can be able to see in this uh, illustration uh, people are wearing masks and they are keeping distance, what we call social distance. Like the distance between this gentleman and this lady here is admirable. This, this shows that we, when we are congregating somewhere, a few people, uh, we should keep distance and we should wear a mask while in public. Okay, okay, having said that, let's move. So what is more important from these cartoons is that if you have fever, that's what is written in, the, in this illustration, that if you have fever, if you have cough and difficult breathing, seek medical attention. It's straightforward. Very good. We will keep updating more of this in future. And of course, the video uh, which we are producing, we will be able to highlight it on this channel and many other platforms as part of our communication strategy or dissemination strategy. This is just about the beginning. So let's move to the next item on our agenda. Is that um, what we have here? Uh, Sheffield United insists that Prince Abdullah is their owner. Coronavirus, the Gambia declares seasonal season null and void. Uh, this is in football. It's important for us to look at uh, What's happening elsewhere in Africa? In Africa, what's happening in Africa? So, coronavirus, the Gambia, the grass season null and void. Okay, okay, if I can make it bigger so that we read together uh, from this blog. Good. So, now, uh, the Gambia Football Federation, GFF. It's the latest African Football Federation to declare its season null and void due to the global coronavirus pandemic. The Federation published a statement on its website confirming its decision, saying there could be no winners, no promotions and relegation. Uh, Riri de Panjul, who were on top of the league table when the league was suspended, will represent the country in the next season is CAF Championship uh, League. The second pressed Gambia Hamdi Forces will represent the Gambia in Confederation Cup. The Gambia Football Federation said it will take necessary steps to improve the football fields. The clubs will also be supported from the COVID-19 relief fund. The Gambia's decision came just a day after Uganda and South Sudan ended their seasons because of the coronavirus crisis. Very good news uh, on, on, on what the um, various clubs are doing to ensure that uh, we are moving ahead by declaring champions uh, from what we already have. So we move on. Let us move on. Uh, it looks like we moved away from the main the main chest uh, up to to identify more news okay 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 from Zambia I take you all the way to to Tanzania let me take you to Tanzania to Tanzania some different perspective colleges and sports to restart in Tanzania in June this is from the land of Magufuli Pompe Magufuli saying that Tanzania President John, John Pombe Magufuli has announced that university students and final year secondary students will return to class on 1st of June. 
uh, sporting events will also resume in June following uh, Ihatu's caused by the global coronavirus pandemic. All games, including the country's Premier League, could return to action. Other secondary school and primary school pupils will not be resuming classes uh, yet. Uh, Mr. Magufuli's announcement is a clear indication that Tanzania is determined to go back to business as usual. Educational institutions in Tanzania were closed in mid-March after the country uh, confirmed this first coronavirus case. And now Tanzania last announced daily statistics coronavirus rate in April. And President Magufuli insists that the country's infection rates have significantly declined. Tanzania has not imposed lockdown or strict regulations or restrictions uh, to its citizens, unlike its neighboring countries, uh, though they are urged, though they have urged, okay, they are urged to wash hands and maintain social distance and wear face masks. Looks like they do not believe in this thing. Uh, of coronavirus, but they are just taking precautions in case there is anything like like uh, coronavirus, they would have made it. Maybe the last item for today, uh, we are looking at Uganda. Uganda's coronavirus statistics. So Uganda's coronavirus cases dropped after revision. So what's happening in Uganda? Uganda, I can make it bigger so that you can see it, as usual, mm, why are cases in Uganda falling? Okay, so, uh, Uganda health authorities have announced a downward revision of coronavirus cases following President Yoel Museveni's directive to erase all foreign lorry drivers from the tally. According to the World Health Organization, Uganda had confirmed 260 coronavirus cases by Wednesday. However, Uganda Health Minister has confirmed that the number, uh, the numbers now is 145 after revision. Dr. Chen Aseng said that the count of all foreign drivers who tested positive would be added to their respective countries. Here is the tweet from Dr. Chen. It says today, 20th May 2020, 10 new COVID-19 cases confirmed. Nine new cases had tracked drivers while one case is a contact case. Following a presidential directive of the deducting all foreign truck drivers from Uganda's total confirmed case count, the confirmed COVID-19 cases now stand at 145. So Uganda has not revealed the nationalities of the affected drivers, and the health ministry said more than 124 drivers were handed to their countries since President Seven made the directive. Okay, so they don't want to be counted to have so many of them. When in reality they have just a few, and these are foreigners, and they are to be counted elsewhere. So they are being handed back uh, to their home countries. Up to that point, uh, we have to end this because of time. We have to put to an end uh, what we have been broadcasting from Kerosi Brog. Uh, right from here, we do a lot of research. We publish spots on news. Uh, spots on COVID-19, of course, that is public health, and we do some uh, serious analysis, uh, that is public policy analysis, uh, to benefit you uh, or our readers. Thank you very much. We will keep you updated on what is going on around Kenya and around the world, in the world of sports, public policy, health, and uh, uh, current affairs. Thank you very much. And kindly make sure you subscribe to our blog and our youtube channel our blog is kerosi blog and our youtube channel is kerosi tv those two move hand in hand you'll be able to get very good news over here you read and you get entertained thank you very much we have to end this uh, live stream